What's up YouTube, NFT Jeff here, and this is NFTs for Newbies, where I teach you how to design, create, promote, and monetize your NFTs so that you're able to make mo both money and impact in the world. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the software uh, Third Web. I get this uh, question all the time, how can I make an NFT? I don't know coding, I don't have a lot of budget, You know, what can I do to be able to get involved on this? Isn't there something out there that's easy to use for some of the isn't very tech savvy or doesn't understand coding. Well, guess what? That's exactly what Third Web is. So inside today's video, I'm going to give you a complete overview. And then in future videos, I'm going to be breaking down each of the segments of Third Web. So see you inside today's video. What's up, everybody? NFT Jeff here. Now, if you go to Third Web, that's T H I R D Web thirdweb.com, you'll be able to get to this site. Now, Third Web is free to use. They do have a little tax. When you finally sell your NFTs or anything on their site using their software or anything to have created, there is a little bit of a tax. I believe it's like 3%. You'll have to check to make sure. It might have changed since I made this video. But just know there is a little bit of a tax whenever there's a royalty um, or something sold on this. So just know everything else is free. But once you sell something, that's when they get their cut. So um, first of all, on Third Web, you can make NFTs, collections, or one-of-a-kind tokens with fully customizable properties. That's right. In tomorrow's video, I'm going to be going deep into how to make NFTs and everything you need to know how to create them on Third Web. You can also make marketplaces. That's right. You can actually make marketplaces to sell your NFTs. You can make tokens. You can make uh, social tokens that are used for like utility. You can make government governance tokens that are used for voting. You can even make currencies on Third Web. You can make packs, which are like loot boxes. Here, I'll show you in just a second. You can do drops. You can do time drops. Um, where people can pick something up in a certain time range. And you can even do splits where certain royalties might go to one person and, and might be another person if you're doing a collab or anything like that. So if you come down here, you'll be able to see here is what their actual uh, membership NFT is. Beyond just what I showed you up there, the few things I'm going to show you a second when we jump in the guides, all the different things that can be made in Third Web. And one of them, you can actually make a membership-based NFT. And this is an idea of what that would look like. Uh, if you look right here is what their um, public member or, uh, websites or not websites, their public marketplaces look like are right here. If you do a DAO, here's an example of what that looks like. Here's an example of a PFP project. And then if you're doing the loot boxes for blockchain games, you know, where you, uh, you buy a loot box, you open up and there's all types of NFTs or tokens in there. Uh, you can do those on here as well. You can also assign different permissions for your team so they might not be able to withdraw or transfer or mint or um, have different variety levels of access. So, and that's pretty much it. Just know that they do have Ethereum, they have a Polygon, they have Avalanche and Phantom. Solana and Flow are soon coming. Uh, you, they also have test networks for each one of these. So when you create initially, uh, you'll create on the test network, make sure it works, and then you can shift it over to the actual uh, main network, whether it's Ethereum, Polygon, Avalanche, or Phantom. The new one here, they have a new update version. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing this video. Much lower gas fees. You are actually making things on the blockchain. So depending on what network you're using, there are going to be gas fees associated with it. So that's one thing you also want to keep in mind. So it's not totally free. They have analytics. You can set your permissions, advanced NFTs. We're going to get into that tomorrow, and then they track the data on it as well. So if you come up here to the very top, and you'll see on the top right here out of these different top, uh, little menus, you choose guides. Now, it will tell you exactly what Third Web does. So um, first of all, they provide smart contracts. SDKs and UI components that creators, game studios, and developers can integrate into their apps. Now, smart contracts are the coding that goes into NFTs that make them do all the magic behind the scenes. Uh, SDK stands for Software De Development Kits. These are basically like plug and play software packages and coding that you can just plug and play right into where you need them. It's really pretty awesome. And then UI is user interface component. So that way, when people are dealing with the actual software and stuff, they're not seeing code. They see like those pictures I showed you, which has a user interface where they can push the buttons and engage with them. 
Um, and then you can, like it says, what can you do? And we went over that. And then how much does it cost? Our tools and SDKs are free to use. You only pay a small percentage of any royalty you receive. So again, you're gonna have to check in what that exact fee is, um, or maybe I'll get more in depth into it in other detailed videos. So if I go right here and hit all, this is all the different guides that they have and different things that you can do. So first of all, you can create NFT without code. You can create a wallet for Coinbase. You can secure your IPFS, which is your interplanetary filing system. I'll get into that in another video. You can do a delayed reveal. You can do a DAO. You can do a early access NFT. And then TypeScript or React um, or um, Nix JavaScript. These are just types of code that's used for specific types of NFTs. That's a cool thing. We really don't, I'm going to get into all that later, but you don't need to know it too much. You just need to know what uh, each one does. So like if you want to create your own auction, you can do that here. You can build a button for your auction. You can create a pack, which is the... Uh, the loot boxes type thing we talked about. Claim, you can make a claim button. You can create your own pack with Python. You can make non-transferable uh, NFTs. You can release a drop without any code. You can connect your wallet and make it so it can switch between networks like Ethereum and Polygon. Uh, you can make it so you can sign in with your wallet. You can create a drop with TypeScript. You can create your own marketplace. You can make your own token. You can make your own token. This one's in TypeScript. This one's in Python. Uh, here's another my, uh, marketplace. I'll check in exactly to see which one is the best for you guys. And we'll, of course, that's the one I'll be focusing on. Uh, you can add a button here to connect your wallet to the website. Uh, you can do, um, you can connect MetaMask. You can pr uh, print a collection with Python. Uh, you can create a NFT membership for your Discord. We'll definitely be doing this one for you guys. And then you can also make a login with just a SMS or email as well. So then if we come over to right here on contracts, yeah, we can see all the different stuff we were working on. Now, tomorrow we're gonna to be going over this one right here, NFT drop contract. We're gonna be going over how to do a one of one mint for your NFT. So these are ones, if you do wanna do a collection of 5,000 or five or 10,000 or whatever, this is the one we're gonna be going over. So. Um, like I said, this is a really easy to use software. It's a great place to start. This is something a lot of people have been asking for. So I wanted to go to over this, break it down, just give you a brief overview. Um, if you're interested in this, go make your account now. It's totally free. Just make sure you're connected to your MetaMask wallet and then we'll be good to go. In tomorrow's video, I'm gonna be breaking down all how to make an NFT. And then in the following day, I'm gonna be breaking down how to make a marketplace. And we'll be doing probably a whole week's worth of these videos. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any more of these amazing videos where I'm gonna bring you all the different types of easy to use software like this. It's gonna help you to get your NFTs out to the world. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm NFT Jeff, peace.